Hello, I'm Adam and welcome to the garden. And in our video today, I'm going to show you how you can grow your own cut flowers at home. There are many advantages to growing your own cut flowers at home. One of the main advantages is to reduce our carbon footprint. Flowers often, when bought in, are imported from countries abroad. By being imported, they often arrive via aircraft, and aircraft are some of the biggest emitters of carbon uh, on the planet. Therefore, if we can grow our own flowers at home, we can um, greatly reduce our carbon footprint. Another advantage to growing home-cut flowers is that personal element. There's nothing more thoughtful than being able to present a bouquet of flowers from the garden to a friend or family member celebrating a special occasion. One of the things that we did last year for our wedding was grow a lot of the cut flowers in our garden. We then scattered those flowers around the venue. We also dried flowers throughout the season leading up to the wedding to use as confetti. So if you're growing your own cut flowers, once they're past their best, you can use those petals then either as confetti or pot puree around the house because they do retain their scent for a while after drying. So how do we go about growing our own cut flowers at home? Well, there are a few things that we need to consider. Firstly, are we going to grow them in the borders that we currently have, or are we going to designate a specific area to grow them? Now, one tip I would recommend, if you are going to grow cut flowers in your borders, make sure that you plant enough for them, because it can be a tendency to be reluctant to cut those flowers, because you don't want to interfere with how the garden looks at any given time. If you have more space, then erecting a cut flower bed in the garden is a very good idea because it allows you to experiment with different colour schemes and flowers without it interfering with the rest of the garden. To make sure that we have a long season of cut flowers, it's important that we consider when flowers bloom. Starting early in the spring, we can plant spring bulbs such as daffodils, hyacinths and tulips, and then moving on to May, use annual summer bedding plants such as cosmos, dianthus or sweet peas, and then moving on from that then into the late summer autumn period, herbaceous perennials such as ever-flowering roses, lupins or even the sashta daisy as I have behind me here. In preparing our cut flowers for the house, it's important that we remove as much foliage as possible from the stem that sits underneath the water. We should also try and cut the stems themselves on a 45 degree angle. This will allow the stem to pull up as much moisture as possible from the vase. It's now time for us to pop into the house and arrange the flowers as desired. I hope this video has given you some ideas how you can grow your own cut flowers at home. Tanatunasa, we'll have a